fans are wild and crazy here for the start of this game. The hot chocolate and coffee stand will be swamped today as the temperature is below freezing for the East Carolina Pirates and the Chargers. And here come the Chargers. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here ready and excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. The Pirates are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Well, I think you're right about that, and I'll tell you why. East Carolina looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. And another thing, East Carolina loves to run the football, and then that's how they win ball games. I think they're going to have a big game on the ground today. And Kirk, I agree with you. I think they win this one. No problem. Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game. So let's get down to the field where they're waiting for the coin toss. East Carolina has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Kicks it off. May fields it at the nine. Kickoff return 13 yards. May on the return. They'll get the ball here at the 22 yard line. They line up in an eye. Day drops back. He's looking. He's under pressure. And he's hit hard. Second and long. Ball on the 16-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Rolls to the right. And they get the sack. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Hey, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. situation here on third and long ball on the nine they line up in the shotgun back to pass he rolls out to the right wants to throw outside oh he could have had a big reception that time just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Didn't get all of that one. He spins around. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll go to work at the 34. East Carolina lines up in a double tight set. He's rolling right. Looks. Gives a little pump fake. Pressure coming. Across the middle. Off his hands and incomplete. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You got to give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight end's got to be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. East Carolina comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. That was a fantastic play by this defense. Lee, you're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Third and ten. Ball in 34. Ace backfield, inside handoff. Shakes off a tackle. They'll bring him down, and he's going to be short of the first down there, guys. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. A field goal makes sense in this situation, but don't tell that to the guy with the clipboard. On the ground with the tailback. Nice gain for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front. The tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Eight yards on the pickup. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. 
Number one, alone in the backfield. Good running there. Yeah, this defense bit on the misdirection, and the result was a first down for the tailback. Classic, classic example of over-pursuing here by the defense. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Gain of two. Gain of two on the play. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Touchdown, ECU! Nothing complicated about that one, Coach. The halfback took it in for six. You're right, it doesn't have to be quantum physics to get in the end zone. Just good execution. is the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. East Carolina is ready to kick it away. Here's the kick. Van takes it at the 16. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Day lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Someone got a hand on it. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. The Chargers come out in a shotgun. Dave, back to pass. Throws it to the outside. The quarterback's got to take some heat off these throws. I disagree. When you're out there throwing the football, your job is to get it to the receiver. It's his job to catch it. You can't catch it for him. That's exactly the kind of comment I'd expect from a quarterback. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They line up to punt this one away. Number one, back deep to return. Didn't get all of that one. Number one, Beals at the 50. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take over at the 29-yard line. The Pirates come out of the ace formation. And they make the stop. They grab eight yards there. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two. Ball on the 21. The Pirates line up with two tight ends. Little handoff. There he goes. Spin move. Sheds that one. Colburn brings him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Inside handoff. Touchdown, ECU! Kirk, that was his second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Well, I'd bet on at least a couple more touchdowns for starters. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. And he missed it. He missed the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. He 
And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. They back deep to return. Kicks it off. Right, fields it at the 26. He's hit and got away. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shot at the 32-yard line. At the 32-yard line. First and 10. Van lines up as a single back. Under heavy pressure. Down the middle. Incomplete pass. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 32. Day steps back to pass. Looking, rolling out to the right side. And he's hit as he throws. Good time to bring the pressure. Yeah, I like it because even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. Third and 10. Ball on their own 32. Day drops to throw. He's in trouble. Throws to the middle. The ball is tipped. Not on target at all this drive, guys. On the cover. Fourth and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Day drops back to pass. Down the middle. That it ball. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, East Carolina, 12. The Cho The Chargers got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Number 17, fields it at the 19. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll, They'll start this drive at the 40-yard line. First and 10. The Pirates come out in a two-tight end set. A little misdirection. He can scoot. Smith with a takedown at the 47. A seven-yard run by the running back. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 47. The Pirates come out in the ace formation. On the ground with a tailback. He's into the open field. Tackle. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run how he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. East Carolina goes with the ace set here. They hand it off again. He tries to spin. And we got an injured player on the field. Second and three. Ball on the 32. The Pirates line up with two tight ends. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Pirates come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. Knocked out of bounds. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard-nosed running, and it gives them another solid day at the ballpark. Second and two, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Missed tackle. He's in for the touchdown. As easy as uno, dos, tres. For you kids at home, that means one, two, three. As in three rushing touchdowns for the day for this kid. I think this defense is getting a numbers lesson right here. I'm not sure if going for two is the right call here. Inside handoff. He's got the two. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. East Carolina calls a timeout.
East Carolina to kick this one off. And it's a short kickoff. May takes it to the 16. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. It's first and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. East Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. And now he's going to run. Got some open field. And they make the stop. On the run. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 37. East Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Day drops back. He's going right. His receiver has it. Brought down. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. First and ten. Ball on the 46. The Pirates bring in their dime package. Inside give. Tries to juke. Tackle. They'll grab 10 yards there. Second down and short. Ball on the 36-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, East Carolina, 20. The Chargers, nothing. Second Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. On the 36 yard line. East Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Third down, less than a yard. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Van lines up in a deep back, eye formation. Here they come. Looks like he's going to run. And he scrambles and picks up the first. Boy, that's a good heads-up play, converting on that third down. High formation here. Day on first down. And they got him. The defense now has four sacks in the ball game. East Carolina comes out defensively with six defensive backs. That gives this defensive unit five sacks for the ball game. The defense came into this game with a game plan to put the pressure on the quarterback. It's safe to say they're happy with their performance. East Carolina lines up in a dime defense here. It's tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Let's see if the defense is ready for him here. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. Got him. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Wow, they convert on fourth and long on that pass play, Kirk. Guys, you just don't see this happen very often. Fourth and a mile, the receiver comes up with a big play, and the defense is caught off guard for the first down. Throws to the middle. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Congratulations to our players of the game. Brought to you by Old Spice. Single set backfield. He's going right. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, East Carolina, 20, the Chargers, 7. Robin will try to hit it just right so they can get a high bounce. Here it goes. And they couldn't come up with the onside kick. Yeah, the receiving team was in great position to recover that football. Just a minute remains in this football game. 
The Pirates come out in a two tight end set on the ground with the tailback. Spinning. Number and he one, picks up one, good one, yardage one. there. Good game, game but I'll six, tell you what, this is a mistake here by the ball carrier of getting out of bounds and stopping the ball clock. Ball You're right. I waste as much time as I could in this situation. Yeah. Two tight ends here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Here's an opening. Spins up field. Kemp brings him down. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 17. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold him this time. Here's a little draw play. And down he goes. The Chargers call for a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. About 12 yards out. The Pirates line up with two tight ends. On the ground with the tailback. The defense calls a timeout. And that was their last timeout. It's third down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Pirates come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. So they come up well short on that run. Well, here it's third long. I'm assuming they just wanted to protect the football and keep the clock running. Thought we were going to see the field goal attempt, but they're lining up to go for it. Rolling out to the left side. Incomplete. Why not try for the points there, guys? Good question, Brad. I would have lined up for the field goal try rather than go for it. This late the game, you should always be conservative. Take the three points if you can get them. That's what I would have done. Day is back in the gun. Day on first down. Looks. Plenty of time in the pocket. He'll dump this one off. It's tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. High formation here. Day, back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Incomplete pass. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First of the Dropping the pass. That'll move forward. And they're loving it. Anytime you can get free yards, you'll take it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. No one open, so he's going to run. And he's taken down. 